In today's video, we're going to be driving south of Adelaide to the world-renowned McLaren Vale wine region. Although just a 45 minute drive south of the city centre, it's an area Cindy and I have only visited a few times. So today, we're going to spend a few hours checking out some of the wineries you can find in the region. G'day guys, so today is something a little different. We're exploring the McLaren Vale wine region. Now, Cindy and I are lucky enough to live, uh, well, we only live about maybe 25, 30 minutes from the McLaren Vale wine region. Um, and then it's roughly about 40 minutes drive from the city here in Adelaide. So we thought we'd take the day now uh, on a Sunday, Easter Sunday actually, and uh, head down here and check out some wines. Now for our first stop, we're gonna be checking out Oliver's Taranja Vineyards, and I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now this one is quite an old location as it was established in 1839, just three years after proclamation here in South Australia. <laughs> Mark provided our taste testing today and provided excellent knowledge in the history of the wine. For both of us today, the Moscato was a standout here and that's coming from someone who generally does not gravitate towards Moscatos. A nice balance of sweetness and acidity. Okay guys, we have just arrived at Molly Duca Winery. Now, I was actually recommended to go check this one out, uh, mainly for the atmosphere and the views. So, I won't be doing any tastings with this one. I don't think Cindy will be doing any tastings here as we, we literally just had a tasting. Um, so, we may just like walk around, check the place out, and uh, show you guys what it's like here. As we saw from a sign on the drive-in, bookings are essential here, and upon arrival into the winery, it was clear it was a popular location. Now my colleague was right about the atmosphere and the view, so it looks perfect for an event or even a wedding. Okay, so we've just arrived at Corioli Winery. I've no idea if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'm probably butchering it, to be honest. Um, but this was just a bit of a random one that I came across uh, while looking for places to go to uh, before going ahead and going on this little day trip. And I don't know, I just felt like it was a cool little looking place by all the photos. Uh, so we're just gonna go and check it out and uh, see what it's about. I like here, it's like it's small, nice and cozy. I feel like in your own backyard because all these trees and flowers and also you can smell the wood fire in the air. Okay guys, this one we just decided to just walk around and take a look at. Beautiful place, really stunning to be honest. Um, would be great to come here. There's actually a restaurant here as well, but we've decided uh, there's another place up the road where we might do a taste testing at because I've been there about nine, 10 years ago and it was quite nice. So I wanna go there, let's go. Okay, so we were gonna to go to Samuel's Gorge uh, because I have been there before. However, after we've arrived, uh, we've noticed that the car park is completely full. The cars are backed up outside the, uh, the driveway area. And to be honest, I mean, the place is great. There's a fantastic view, but I feel like, because we probably only have a few hours left of, you know, the winery has been open today. I feel like we're better off moving on to other places which, which may be, um, you know, a little bit better to go to for, for the purposes of this video at least. So the plan is, now, we're gonna to go to Woodstock Estate. The main reason we really like this place is because about a year ago, we were on the way to uh, Victor Harbour and Port Elliot to stay a couple of nights, and we managed to get one of these great state vouchers for experiences. And uh, we managed to get one for this sanctuary that they have there, so you can feed the animals. And then there was a taste testing and a platter and everything as well, and we love the place there, so we thought, why not include it in today's video? So that's where we're going, Woodstock Estate. So it's uh, possibly a little bit too difficult to see through the fence. So I'm just filming with my uh, phone camera, but uh, I'm sure there's a couple of koalas up there too. Cause I remember last time we went in there and did the feeding, there was a sheep, <laughs> um, kangaroos, a few other little marsupials, there they are hopping away. And then um, there might've been a goat, a goat and an emu, I reckon. 
but uh, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna hop up in here. It looks like it's pretty damn packed as well. Like there's tons of cars here. So we're hoping that we actually can do a tasting here. Woodstock Wine Estate is a great location built in amongst the natural setting. And after visiting this location last year, we love the atmosphere, platters, and the wine they have to offer. Aiden was great with our tasting today, and the bonus is that the tasting price is waived if you buy a bottle at the end. Yeah, that's what gets. Nice. It's fun in the way that it has dry flavors, but it's still soft. Really cool. it's oh, no, no, no. How do you like it? Cindy's just saying I'm the worst person to review wine because I just say I like it. I don't talk about any of the complexities or anything. <laughs> This one here, the musket, probably our most popular fortified. Everyone loves the sticky date pudding. It's part of like about fortified, it's like watching it like slide down the top. It's so beautiful, thick, and yeah. yeah. So, thoughts on Woodstock? So, first, I gotta. Ta da! So, first, I really liked here because I was here once before. Although the well, food was... Well, I already told them we were here before. <laughs> right. So the food was changing a bit. That's why we didn't get in the tasting platter, but we did get a few wine to test. And in the end, I got a really love this dessert wine. I really loved it. So we got a bottle. Yeah. And also this time we didn't really have time to feed the animals. Well, we missed the time. But if you ask me if I would to come back here again, yes, definitely. Okay, guys. So we are now leaving Woodstock. And we are going to make our way to, I don't even know how to pronounce this one either. Is that Darenberg? Darenberg? But we're going to go there. I'll put the name under. I mean, it's most likely even going to be the thumbnail for my video because at the end of the day, when people think of McLaren Vale, they see iconic images aside from, uh, you know, the vines, etc. They see this building, which I believe is called the Cube. Mm. 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 You should have seen Cindy's face. I'm very surprised and very happy that we're going there now. Long story short, I've got a big list of places and she doesn't really completely know what, what way we're going each one, but um, I'm surprised here each time. So we're gonna go here, let's check it out. Let's it might be, it, I have a feeling it's gonna be very full though. Like a lot of people are gonna be there. I also heard from a colleague at work that it's very pricey. May not do a tasting there. It may just sort of be to walk around, have a quick look at the place. We'll see. Exactly, so let's roll. For our sixth stop today, we arrive at Diarenberg. Once again, no idea if I'm pronouncing that one correctly, so we'll just go with it. This structure is certainly unique in itself, but as you'll see from the queues, you certainly need a booking before coming here, as this is potentially the most popular, or at least the most touristy location in McLaren Vale. So we admire the views and make our way onto Angove. <laughs> Scary music. Okay, we've just arrived at Angove. I can't remember, is this the fifth or the sixth winery we've been to today? Yeah, I mean, we've only had tastings at two wineries. Uh, Jarenberg, what we just went to then was obviously way too busy. You need a booking, that's yeah. essential. That's uh, but now we've just, nice. yeah, so now we've just arrived here at um, Angove. Gonna go check it out. Just having a look at some of these grapes that got on the vines here, obviously not touching them. <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna walk in, have a look, let's go. Now I won't be partaking in any of the tastings at this winery due to the fact that I'm driving today. I should also mention the previous two tastings I have done were spaced out a couple of hours in between and we are now going into the late afternoon. So we'll just let Cindy enjoy this one. This place was actually recommended to me for the views and the wine. We are also provided some olives and roasted almonds. But overall, it's a beautiful location. Unfortunately, the wines weren't to Cindy's liking here. So now we'll move on to our eighth and final location for the day being Fox Creek.
Fox Creek is our eighth and last destination for today. And as soon as we arrived, we were greeted with a cool and lively atmosphere of live music, families enjoying the Sunday afternoon, and quite a picturesque scene to finish off the day's tour in McLaren Vale. We tried the red selection here at Fox Creek, once again, unfortunately not to our liking, but who knows, maybe we're just a bit picky. But to be honest, I'd actually go back for the atmosphere and possibly try a different selection in the future. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the 2019 Shiraz on the left. Mm -hmm. So this one is really just that nice fruity, easy style drinking Shiraz to start you off. But overall, it's been a great day exploring McLaren Vale and I can't wait to get back out here and try some different places in the future. But anyways, that was Fox Creek. Um, yeah, definitely very cool for the atmosphere. That was actually a recommendation by uh, a colleague at work that recommended to come here. Definitely worthwhile having a look. I mean, you know, as I said in the beginning of the video, certainly not a wine connoisseur. Don't know heaps about wine, but uh, unfortunately those, not to my taste. Um, I think Cindy as well, didn't really prefer those wines either. But um, hey, I mean, the, the tasting was only $15 and if you buy a bottle at the end of the day, that gets waived. So we bought a uh, $18 bottle of wine. Seems a bit cheap, doesn't it? But stuff it, why not? And, um, <laughs> but yeah, that was Fox Creek. Look guys, I don't think we'll go to any more today. I think um, Cindy's had enough wines to try, certainly. And um, I'm driving today, so I can't really have too much. So it's just one of those things, but it's definitely been an enjoyable day going around, looking at different places. And uh, now I think it's time to go get some food because I'm starving, but uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Certainly a little bit different and um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, feel, feel free to subscribe, like, etc. But other than that, I'll catch you in the next one, okay? Take care.